Recently, I put out a poll on my Twitter, and my awesome and unhinged followers there decided that I should try living with Windows 98 for a week in the year of our Lord, 2022. <sighs> well, if I'm gonna be stuck 25 years in the past, I may as well give myself a fighting chance. So I reached for two of my fastest AGP motherboards that have Windows 98 driver support. The ASRock 775VM800 using the VIA P4M800 chipset, or do I pick the Biostar K8 VGA-M using a very similar VIA K8M800 chipset? Both boards are AGP ADEX, so I'll be using my Pixel View G4 6600 GP, my fastest AGP graphics card at the moment. For sound, since I'm living in Win98, it makes sense to skip the onboard sound on these boards and instead use my venerable Diamond Monster sound because it works beautifully with Win98, accepts my beloved Dream Blaster S2 wavetable, and can be convinced to work with DOS as well. So then the choice just comes down to Pentium 4 or Athlon 64. You may recall that I did some in-depth benchmarking of late Pentium 4 architectures, including Prescott and Cedar Mill revisions. And if you saw that video, you no doubt noticed the 2.2 GHz Athlon 64 I snuck in there as a comparison. It ran the same video and sound hardware as the Pentium 4s, and it was just a run-of-the-mill Venice core with 512K L2. Nothing special. It wasn't the fastest CPU in the comparison, but it wasn't bad, and it was not even a high-end fire-breathing FX model either. So I think I'll go for the Athlon 64. If I can get even a 10% overclock out of it, it should be faster than pretty much anything on this Cinebench chart here. Remember, Windows 98 can't use more than one hardware thread, so that fancy hyper-threading on the later Pentium 4s is worthless to me in this challenge. Alright, with hardware specs and theory crafting out of the way, let's get to building and see what this machine can do. I'll be mounting this in one of my 3D printable vertical test benches, a uh, link to the STLs for those in the description. <laughs> Okay, that's it installed. Uh, I also nabbed the relevant drivers, the last version of DirectX for Win98, and I've got the key to this crazy endeavor maybe actually working, Kernel X. The only downside at this point is it does give me a Windows protection error once in a while, it shut down. It's also pretty loud. The fan on this GPU is fine and it, it's in great shape actually, but it's very small. It makes a lot of noise while it's doing what it's doing. So I think the last thing I'm going to do here is install it inside an actual case to try and quiet it down. And there it is, all set up for the upcoming challenge of using Win98 for a week. If you enjoyed this journey into computing obscura, please give that like button a click. If you enjoy computer build videos that are 20 years too late, please hit the subscribe button. I've got way more where this came from, and it does really help out the channel. That's it for now. I hope you have a great night.